Hi, Deborah Roth back again at Spirited Musings. Delighted to be here with you as we move past the summer solstice and about to come up to the Cancer New Moon. Always a very exciting one for me because I am a Cancer. My birthday is actually Saturday, the 28th, June 28th. The Cancer New Moon is on June 27th this year, so very auspicious. If you ever have a birthday that falls right on or certainly within a day or so of the full moon or the new moon, it's something to take an extra look at. So, welcome, welcome, and definitely I want to say before I forget, we are doing a beautiful new moon circle tonight in New York City if you're in the area. Our theme, and it's what I'm going to talk a little bit about today, is honoring the mother, personal and archetypal. So cancer is ruled by the moon. And you can find all kinds of astrological uh, treatises on, on what cancer new moons are like, and specifically the one this year um, by other astrologers that are online. I tend to focus on the kind of symbolic, divinely feminine ritual part of it, which I would say that the Cancer full moon so epitomizes. Uh, cancer is is the 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 sign because it's directly ruled by the moon of the divine feminine and and of deeply feminine emotional intuitive energy. So it's really a day whether you're a Cancer or not to in this time period is is just a really wonderful time to. To check in with yourself and see how you are nurturing yourself. How are you mothering yourself? How are you honoring the mothering instinct? And I'm always really careful when I when I talk about the Cancer New Moon representing the mother, the mother archetype, that it doesn't necessarily mean that you're a biological mother, or even that you're a female. But the idea is that it is that it embodies Cancer energy embodies the the creatrix, creator energy which means anything that you have uh, given birth to. It could be a book, an idea, uh, a business, all kinds of things. There are so, you know, hundreds of millions of people in the world who are not biological mothers who have still given birth and nurtured people or projects to life. So that's what we're, that's when I say honoring the mother personal and, arch and archetypal. Certainly it's, it's a time to reflect on our own relationship um, as mothers, as biological mothers, but also as, as daughters um, or as it, it looking at our own mothers. If you didn't have the best relationship with your mother, it's a time to reflect on who are those people in your life who were nurturing for you. They, they, were, they mothered you. They, they helped give birth to the person that you are today. I, in fact, today am wearing some earrings that my mother, who I have a wonderful relationship with, thank the goddess, um, she gave me for my birthday a week or so ago, and actually a dress that she and I go away every summer, and we've done this, oh my gosh, for 20 years, I think, just the two of us. I have three brothers, so it's def definitely our sacred feminine time. And when we travel, sometimes she'll buy, it's a, you can't see it, but it's a fun, funky dress that I'll wear to the circle tonight. So my invitation to you is to reflect on all of these ways that the mothering archetype shows up in your life, and not at all forgetting the, the earth mother archetype. When, when I do these circles, I bring my little glass earth ball, and that's always on the altar. Sometimes, can't decide if I want to bring it with me, but I have a big, wonderful, um, very cuddly, very appropriately cancer nurturing um, earth ball, <laughs> squishy ball, that is really yummy to cuddle with and, and symbolically nurture and hug and make a commitment to take care of your own mother. So how can you do that? What kinds of commitments can you take to honor the nurturing instinct in you, to honor your own mother, to honor yourself as mother, to honor the earth mother? Now, one of the things I've done uh, in years past is to create what we call the mothering bag. You know, just find some pretty bag. And one year, I had just been to see Amma, the, the wonderful spiritual teacher who's known as the mother. Uh, Amma means mother. And I had dried um, uh, flowers that were blessed by her, a little cowrie shell. If you know cowries, uh, got a big one here, actually. 
Um, cowrie shell, most of us are familiar with this being a feminine symbol because of this side of the cowrie, but someone literally just pointed out to me a few years ago that this looks like a pregnant belly. How perfect to remind ourselves of the birth-giving creator uh, energy that we all carry within us, again, whether or not we, we are a, a biological mother. So I love cowrie shells just in general, but I think especially on this cancer uh, new moon. So I invite you, take a little piece of paper, I mean a little, and write on it whatever your commitment is to honor yourself as mother, nurturer, creator, and then do a little prayer around it and stuff it inside <laughs> a little cowrie shell and let that sit on your desk, on your altar, wherever you place such things to remind you of your inner mother and how you can tap into your creator, nurturer, birth giver, idea giver self. Enjoy. I'd love to hear your stories. And if you're in the city, please do check out my website, spiritedliving.com, or give me a call, send me an email. And let me know if you can come and if you, and then I'd love to hear your stories <laughs> about how you're celebrating this nurturing new moon in Cancer. Enjoy, and I'll connect with you next month for our new moon in Leo. Bye for now.